Hello there, folks. It's Gravity here. Uh, today, we're going to be watching an Indie World presentation. It's been a while since I have done a little uh, presentation, well, presentation reaction. Um, but I think I'll go ahead and watch this. I have the time. Uh, and it starts in two minutes. It's about 20 minutes. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm also going to be... <laughs> Uh, if you see me on my phone, I'm probably ordering something because I don't feel like cooking anything right now. Because I'm lazy! But anyways, let's uh, put this in full screen because nobody wants to see the live chat. It's so toxic. So I'm going to go live. And then we're going to wait for this to start. Ooh. As you can see, I didn't, you know... Hope you guys are liking the new setup here. Uh, new mic. I've got a new mic. Well, this is the same mic I've had as always. But I've got a new webcam right here. Uh, you can see my lovely stuff over here. All of my lovely memorabilia. <laughs> uh, but uh, we'll just wait for this to start. It should be in about a minute. I, I think. Let me... Yeah. <laughs> okay. I honestly don't have any expectations for this. Uh, I kind of want to see... Some new ideas, some fun ideas. Um, maybe, I mean, I know everyone wants Hollow Knight. Uh, I've never, I actually haven't played Hollow Knight, so I don't really have too much interest in it. Um, even though I probably should play, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll just find out. I don't really need the keyboard here, so I'm just gonna put this to the side. All right, what do we got? So let me make sure this is in good quality. I'll put this in 720. Oh, here we are, we're starting. Ooh, the T. Ah oh, yes, the 19 COVID. Sound wasn't Hello on. Hello and welcome to Indie World. That was a little too loud. And I'm Tyler. We're here to take you through another great selection of indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. No That's matter a what better. type of games you're into, <laughs> we hope you'll find your next indie favorite. Are you ready? No. Then off we go. No. No. Please. This is um. Wait. This uh. Is this? Um, what's that game? Is it, um, <laughs> it's that Sega game. Uh, why can't I remember the name? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it looks like it. I, Jet Set Radio, that's what it is. Is this Jet Set Radio? Oh, Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. It looks like Jet Set Radio. <laughs> All right, now this is what I call a funky future. I could use a backpack like that. Me too. For a second, I was like, wait, why would this be a second in Indie Showcase? It's not Making Jet Set Radio. Won't be easy. But as you expand your crew with additional players, oh, I do like the style of this game. Of the intuitive trick system to get around town, you'll end it obviously is inspired by Jet Set Radio, game. given skateboarding, and I see yourself some spray painting. Yeah. Backed by beats from a wide range of musical talent, you'll grind, paint, and combo your way to becoming one of the greatest graffiti artists around. Yeah, I'm definitely inspired by Jet Set. Because all that art so, like I said, never played Jet Set, but it looks a lot attention. like it. Reclaim the streets when Bomb Rush Cyberfunk arrives as a timed console exclusive okay. on Nintendo Switch I dig. I like. Year. I will take interest in this. What's this? <laughs> Looks kind of cute. It's like a little, uh, little, uh, you know, like one of those, uh, those coloring books where you gotta color everything in. That kind of thing. Log City? What? Oh, it's got a camera mode. Every game's got a camera mode at this point. Uh, 
pretty cute. Tell him a photo adventure. Okay, okay. Hey, hey son. I'm Niklas and I'm Lucas. We at Samsung Mail and the rest of the development team are really proud to present our photo-adventure game, Toem. After many hard work and, of course, fun moments, so we're going to go here today. That's the only thing I do like about the indie worlds now. They definitely show how worldwide indie games are. Pretty much showing games from like all different parts of the world. I do like that, especially when they show it in their native tongue. That makes it a lot more apparent that hey, these games are from everywhere. Smile, Tyler. What photo? Hey, that's a nice one. It reminds me of the photos you can take in this laid-back adventure. That's all about. It's not something I would be into, but it looks cute. I will admit. Along the way. With its charming hand-drawn style, you'll explore different regions inspired by the Scandinavian countryside. Chat with quirky characters. Solve their problems by taking neat snaps with your camera. Neat snaps. Pokemon and snaps? Make your way through a relaxing <laughs> no. landscape while listening to some uh, totally chill beats. Chill beats. Get ready to say cheese when Toem arrives this fall. Okay. What we got? What's this? This is like one of those old school like MMORPGs, <laughs> kinda. Well, obviously it's an RPG. Not actual gameplay footage. What? Sorry if I'm yawning, I'm kind of still sleepy. <laughs> loop hero. I'm guessing that's kind of like an infinite hey, loop kind of thing. Rico, does it feel like we're going in circles here? Don't worry, Tyler. That's just how loop hero works. Instead of playing as the hero, you craft adventures for them by creating the world that they travel through. Each mystical oh, card you play forms part of a dangerous path that the hero can explore. Loot and fight along. Place cards strategically to help them conquer the loot. I like this uh, uh, this pixel again. art style. The it looks very complete, the more raw. Cards you'll uncover, opening how do I, I don't know how else to explain it. It looks very medieval, obviously, the which is the point. Off but the, the palette, the, the color palette, it looks raw. Strategy, Balance and, and it skill. just old itself Especially with all the gray and the bronze, the, the red, Break the spiral and save the world. And the font. The loop hero <laughs> arrives on Nintendo Switch this holiday. From the creator of Bar Long Sales. Never heard of that. I just don't know too much. <laughs> Okay. This looks fine. Looks uh, looks pretty nice. So trying to figure out what the actual gameplay is. I mean, then again, it might be a story base, but I don't know. Uh... Oh, far changing tides. I thought it was like a different game, even though I don't know. Hello, I'm Lars Mokker, co-founder and creative lead for Komotiv. I freue mich sehr, euch Far Changing Tides zu zeigen, unserem atmosphärischen Fahrzeugadventure und den nächsten Teil im Far Universum. Wir haben schon früh gewusst, dass wir noch mehr Geschichten dem Universum zu erzählen haben und so starten wir in Changing Tides mit einer neuen Figur in eine neue spannende Reise. Wir freuen uns, Far Changing Tides nächstes Jahr auf den Nintendo Switch zu bringen und wünschen euch viel Spaß dabei. Okay. A boy, his ship, and an ocean that stretches as far as the eye can see. Who'd have thought that the apocalypse would ever be so relaxing? And yet it is. In this stirring puzzle-solving adventure, you get to captain your own seafaring vessel and explore a vast flooded landscape. 
tackle mighty storms, and overcome conundrums as you embark on a voyage to find a new home. Set in a beautifully realized post-apocalyptic world, it's an emotional, meditative journey that anyone can enjoy. Whether you've played the first game in the series, Far Lone Sales, or not, Set sail for the horizon I have not played any of the series. Tides, <laughs> coming to the Nintendo Switch system uh, next year. Uh, what's this? It's a game. How you going, golf face? Wait, is that Commander Video? What is this? Okay. Necro Barista, Final Pour. So it's one of those uh, those barista games. Mm, kind of like Valhalla. That smells both rich and satisfying. <clears throat> I bet it's got enough caffeine to wake the dead. Can I get a cup? Sure. Flavorsome storytelling and aromatic atmosphere go hand in hand in this anime-style experience where the dead get one last night to mingle with the living and discuss the finer points of life and death over a beverage or two. Immerse yourself in new story content and enjoy remastered visuals in this expanded director's cut of the original game. There's even a new studio mode where you can create your own dialogue and stories. Make yours a grande with Necrobarista Final Pour, launching as a timed console exclusive oh, on Nintendo Switch later today. All right. I see what you did, y'all. Time for some updates. Updates. Let's quickly catch up on several games we <laughs> featured previously in Indie World oh. that you can play today. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Oh, games already come out? Already out? It's time <clears throat> to grow your own adventure. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Become the guardian of the grove and explore a vibrant island to inspire its inhabitants. Bend off the invasive rot and rebuild your home. Take on requests from villagers solve puzzles, and do everything you can to help restore the community. Rise to greatness in Garden Story, arriving as a timed console grape exclusive story. on Nintendo Switch <laughs> later today. <laughs> a story about a grape. All right, what do we got next? Don't just fight with a sword. Date one. In the I remember Pokemon this game. <laughs> dating sim, <laughs> they announced this game like two years ago or something. From fighting monsters to woo your weapons on romantic outings. Your sword Multiple is your boyfriend. Basically, this is reverse Xenoblade 2. To <laughs> with. After all, a couple that slays together stays together. Capture the hearts of your arsenal in Boyfriend Dungeon, cleaving its way onto Nintendo Switch later today. In this prequel to the yep. original Axiom Verge, well, there it is. Axiom Verge comes out later today. People were, by the same microscopic yeah, I heard machines people were hearing about it being updated on the eShop. So, yeah, With there it is. With two interconnected worlds to explore, hack, and fight your I've never way played through. the original Axiom Verge. Like I should maybe I should do that. And nightmare as you discover the origins of the Axiom Verge universe. Axiom Verge 2 comes to Nintendo Switch later today. People were very, very happy about that. I can't wait that. to dig into all those games. <laughs> Speaking dig? of digging, let's continue with the show. Steam World Dig 3? A new Shovel Knight? What? Oh. This is, isn't this, uh, it's, yeah, I heard, I heard about this game. Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. It's like a puzzle game-ish kind of game. Looks pretty interesting. Not too Hi. big of a Shovel Knight I'm guy, Julia, but it looks pretty cool. We are thrilled to announce today 
that Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, an action-packed puzzle adventure with a dungeon-crawling twist we're developing alongside Vine, is coming to Nintendo Switch. Whoa! Can you believe it's been seven years since Shovel Knight first arrived on the scene? After that first appearance, we've been hard at work releasing Plague of Shadows, Specter of Torment, King of Cards, and Shovel Knight Showdown. As you can see, we've <laughs> I remember that Shovel Knight Showdown is basically its own version of Smash. It's like you know what? Since I can't be in Smash, I'll make so my own Smash. For Shovel Knight to take the next step into a new gameplay dimension with Pocket Dungeon. We hope you enjoy your puzzling adventure. Now here's a twist on Shovel Knight that you're really going to dig. A part puzzler, part dungeon crawler hybrid that's perfect for fans and newcomers alike. Yeah, so it's like a puzzle dungeon crawler side, kind of thing. Fight foes, recover Looks relics, interesting. And battle bosses both new and familiar. Group together enemies to unleash massive chain attacks and grab keys, potions, and treasure as you try to escape the mysterious pocket dungeon. With over 10 heroes available, each with their own special power and play style, the action is always as fresh as it is fast. You can even take on a friend head to head and fight to bury the competition. Okay. Literally. And as an Probably not gonna get it, but to Nintendo Switch, okay. if you have any of the Shovel Knight series amiibo figures, use them to call on a familiar fairy friend to accompany you on your adventure. You see, I don't, um, I don't want to spend a hundred dollars, so. All right, what's this? It's like some kind of world builder, world builder game. It looks cute. The music's pretty relaxing. Islanders console edition. Start small, build big. That's always been my motto. And in this quirky city builder, it can be yours too. This procedurally generated strategy game sees you placing buildings from your inventory on an island to earn points. Score enough and you'll get more buildings to keep growing your island with. And when you can't build any further, just start from scratch and do it all again. Huh. With its minimalist approach, so you just keep going, mechanics, going, and almost infinite colorful islands to build on, you can create the city of your dreams over and over in no time at all. The world is yours to build. Not really my kind of thing, but console edition. I know a lot of people want that stuff. Exclusive on Nintendo but not Switch me. Later I'm today. not really into like one of those world builder games where you just sit, and look at a world build itself. Derma. Eh? Oh yeah, it's that, um, it's that, uh, that SNK, uh, Tactics, uh, <laughs> what is it called again? Metal Slug Tactics? I saw a picture of Terry Bogart over there. Literally, it's called Metal Slug Tactics. <laughs> de la part de Laker Studio et d'Otemu, nous sommes très heureux de vous annoncer que Metal Slug Tactics sera disponible sur Nintendo. What are they blurring Switch. out? Nos équipes ont grandi avec Metal Slug et c'est une chance de pouvoir travailler sur un nouvel épisode de cette saga mythique. C'était important pour nous de trouver une nouvelle voie, à la fois pour rendre hommage aux épisodes principaux de la série. So what's my favorite thing? When like, they, they make these videos, but then they have to blur something on the background, either because either it's something. That maybe Here's isn't on Nintendo on systems, or like isn't related to Nintendo, this new or like something that they don't want to they don't want to show. This is there. It's like, like the okay. And explosive action, but then adds tactical combat mechanics to mix things up. Taking control of familiar heroes from the Metal Slug series, including Marco, Tarma, Theo, and Eri, it's your job to wipe out the enemy forces by any means possible. 
position your troops correctly on the battlefield, and you'll even be able to use the sync skill to deal extra damage with multiple heroes. Interesting. Head for a new front line when Metal Slug Tactics blasts onto Nintendo Switch next year. Okay. Konnichiwa, Tetris Effect no director no Ishara. Tetris Effect. I'm Eileen. I work on theater Hola. and production at Enhance. And today, we're so excited to announce that Tetris Effect Connected is coming to Nintendo Switch. They're putting Tetris Effect Tetris on no Switch! <laughs> Yo, let's go! <laughs> Though I haven't, I just recently, as you all know, I recently got a PC. Um, I have a Game Pass, and Tetris Effect is on Game Pass, so I don't really need to buy this. Please, <laughs> Game Pass PC. But, um... Sure, sure I'll you take might it. have already played Tetris, but Tetris Effect Connected is something different. It's the iconic puzzle game, <clears throat> but one that goes to another plane of enlightenment. As well as the single-player journey mode, take on your friends competitively in zone battle locally or online. Or play but does it have 99 players to fight? To clear no. Three play fields as one. It even includes cross-platform multiplayer, so it's easier to find people to play with or against. And since it's on the Nintendo Switch system, you can take the experience with you wherever you are. Feel the connection in Tetris Effect Connected. Arriving on Nintendo Switch, October 8th. Very cool. Like I said, I already have access to this. There sure are a lot of games to look forward to, but that's not all. There are even more indie titles coming to and Nintendo now Switch for... soon. <laughs> take a look. Now for the montage. Alright. Cute. Okay, another one of those simulators. Not my kind of thing. The only simulator I will go for is give me Tomodachi Life 2, but that won't be today. Slime slight Slime Rancher? I literally just like I said, Slime Rancher I have on Game Pass as well. So there's no point of me having that too. Lumbear Jack, Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix 2? <laughs> no. <laughs> I had to make that joke, I'm sorry. Why do I feel like the frame rate on this is like really bad? <laughs> I don't know, it just looks choppy to me. <laughs> I never liked those physics-based games anyway, so. Mm. Nearly done, but before we go, we have one an more game! On another game coming to Nintendo Switch very soon from our friends at Chucklefish. Uh that is a game. It's a game. Yeah, that is a game. I don't know what it is, but it's a game. I'll say that. I feel like I've seen this game, but I don't remember. <laughs> uh, what am I looking at? Uh, Eastward. Yeah, never heard of it. But sure, let's go for it's it. It's nearly time to head eastward. Coming to Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive, September 16th. Uh, Pre-orders begin on Nintendo okay. eShop later today. Uh, is that everything? So that's the end of today's Indie World. There are so many yeah, diverse indie games to be found so, yeah, on Nintendo Switch. No Hollow Knight, really like people showing them were wanted, but like I said, I feel like at that point that game is like a Nintendo, regular Nintendo always, Direct a big caliber of a, of, uh, of, working on games for Nintendo you know, it's like on that caliber. You know how like, us today. whenever they announced Undertale on Switch and then Deltarune, they only did it in Nintendo Direct. I feel like they'll do that for Hollow Knight. They're only going to announce Silk Song during a Nintendo Direct, not during an Indie World. Because of how popular Hollow Knight is, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, two of those games <laughs> I already can buy, I already can play right now because I have Gate Pass. <laughs> that's pretty funny. 
Um, but there's a couple things that look pretty interesting. That very first game, that really caught my attention. I definitely will be uh, looking at that one. Um, a couple of them look pretty cool. A lot of them not, not really put towards me. Uh, but, you know, that's how it is. Not every game's for everyone. Um, but, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction thing. Uh, it was kind of fun. Haven't done a reaction in a while. Uh, but, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Adios.